Something that not many guitar players think about when they're recording guitar is their guitar pick. Yes, a lot of your guitar tone comes from the guitar itself or the amplifier, you know, the pickups, the amp you choose, if it's tube, solid state, so forth. But something as small as the guitar pick you choose can actually change the tone in subtle ways that can still have a big impact on the recording as a whole. When I was recording Restless Dreams, I would sometimes change the guitar pick to a gravity pick. Now, a regular pick is made out of Tortex or nylon, and a gravity pick is usually made out of acrylic. The big difference I notice between the gravity picks and regular picks is the way that the pick interacts with the string. Other picks tend to latch onto the string and you can actually hear the string or pick noise a lot more clearly. Next time you're playing guitar and you're recording it, try to see if you can pick that up. Gravity picks, on the other hand, tend to be a bit more fluid. They don't latch onto the string. You don't hear as much pick noise. Your attack is still there, but the way it sustains is a bit differently. The strings tend to resonate a bit differently with a gravity pick than they do with a standard guitar pick. There's a whole range of shapes and sizes for gravity picks. I highly recommend looking through the website. They have a box set that comes with a bunch of different picks in various sizes, so you can get a good taste of what each pick feels like. Personally, I prefer the unpolished Stealth XL and Sunrise but I'm also a fan of the polished Sunrise and of the Gold Series models of these pick shapes. That's all I've got to say about Gravity Picks. Please hit the notification bell and the subscription button in order to stay in the loop. This is Lucas signing off.